This SKF training film is about cylindrical roller bearings. The most common cylindrical roller bearing consists of a flanged outer ring, a separating cage and a number of rollers. The floating inner ring completes the bearing. This type of bearing is designed for accommodating high radial loads at high speeds. This bearing is always used in conjunction with an actually locating bearing to ensure the shaft is properly supported. Single row cylindrical roller bearings are made in a number of variations. They can have a floating outer ring or the most common, a floating inner ring type. This design can be supplied with a number of actually locating variations. This film will concentrate on the floating inner ring type. The most common applications for the cylindrical roller bearing are electric motor applications, gearboxes and many other large applications like rolling mills for aluminium foil. These bearings can have up to four sets of rollers per bearing, giving very high radial load capacity and stiffness, but an axially locating bearing is required. Some foil is rolled to less than one hundredth of a millimeter thick, which demands extreme accuracy from the bearings. Cylindrical roller bearings are often fitted using heat to expand the bearing inner ring. SKF provides a wide range of bearing induction heaters for this purpose. In this instance, a small induction heater is used. When using heat, do not heat the bearing above 110 degrees centigrade and always use protective gloves. Hold the inner ring against the shaft shoulder until the ring cools and grips the shaft. The second part of the process of mounting the bearing is fitting the outer ring assembly onto the shaft. Small cylindrical roller bearings can be removed by heating a special aluminium clamping ring using a hot plate to around 280 degrees centigrade. Damage-free removal of the tight-fitted inner ring can be achieved. The transfer of the heat with the aluminium ring expands the bearing inner ring, so ensuring a simple removal without damaging the shaft. On the medium and large inner rings, an SKF EAZ type induction heater can be used for both mounting and dismounting. Make sure not to damage the inner ring during the mounting process. A damaged inner ring will reduce the bearing life. To avoid damage, use an inner ring guide sleeve.